Hello everybody, this is Sandra, and today I'm trying something a little bit different. Today I'm making a Kentucky butter cake. I think I've made this before though, but you guys don't know anything about it. But anyway, those are basic ingredients. Um, it's through one cup of butter, no softened, but it's a cube, whatever. Two cups of granulated sugar, four eggs, and I got my fresh eggs from the farmer. Yep. Um, one tablespoon of vanilla, three cups of all-purpose flour, and you see I got mine in the sifter. Now, the recipe doesn't say you have to sift them, but, okay, as long as I've been doing cakes from scratch, you sift your flour. So I'm sifting my flour, okay? Anyway, um, one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and one cup of buttermilk. So really, this recipe is really easy. One of the reasons why I really, really, really like it is because, you know, normally you have to mix your, do alternate, alternate your wet and your dry ingredients. You know, you put in some flour, mix it up, put in your wet ingredients, mix it up, put in your flour, mix it up. Put your wet ingredients, mix it up. Okay, this one is not like that. Basically, everything goes in a bowl. You mix them on low for 30 seconds and then on medium for about three minutes. And then put it in your grease and flour pan. How easy is that? Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go ahead and get everything in my bowl. Finish sifting my flour. Okay, hand exercises. <laughs> hand exercises. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, probably go ahead and, and put it in my pan. When I come back, it's going to be in my pan, and then, and I'll be getting ready to put it in the oven then. But, the oven, 325, okay? And I think it's for about an hour. I'll check on the time again. I can't remember. But I think it's about an hour. Usually these, these type of bunt cakes, about an hour. But, um. I'll let you know when I come back. Okay, I just mixed up my batter. And what I did was for my butt pan, um, I just use Pam. Okay, Pam usually works just fine for me. Okay, some people like Baker's Joy, Baker's Joy, whatever. Or you could um, do like the recipe said, grease it and flour it. But I generally just use, like I said, whatever cooking spray I have. It works just fine. And in case you, I don't know if you can notice or not, but this pan is a nonstick. Okay. And it's a Wilson pan I got a few years ago. But anyway, I just like the design. I like cute pans. Anyway. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my batter in my butt pan. And the recipe does say, does say 325 for 65 to 75 minutes. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to set the timer for one hour and come back and check. Because as you know, every oven cooks differently. So when I come back, I'll be taking out the oven and then we'll go into the next step. Okay, everybody, I have my cake out of the oven. Yay. It ended up taking about 65 minutes for me. Remember it says anywhere from 65 to 75 minutes. 65 was good for me, okay? So the next step... I need the butter glaze, okay? Butter glaze, three-fourth cup of butter. Th um, sorry, one-third cup of butter. Three-fourth cup of granulated sugar. Two tablespoons of water and two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay, so, okay, I know it's a larger eye than I need. And that was, that's the fast eye. And that's what that one. So, I'm going to use this one because I really don't feel like reaching over. And basically, all you're going to do is... Um, Stir this until it melts. I have everything in the pot. And I'm going to come back when this is all melted. Okay? And we're going to start glazing the cake. Okay. Now my butter is melted and my sugar has dissolved. It only took about two and a half, three minutes. Okay? And this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Okay? Now, now what I'm going to do, 
is what they tell you. I can't try not to lose my spoon. Tell you, take a knife and poke holes in your cake. I wish I had a skewer. Um, because I really have a skewer than that. Then I can see the knife does make really pretty holes, okay? But anyway. But the end's gonna be upside down anyway, so I guess it really don't matter because no one's gonna see it. But you're gonna poke holes all over the cake. Try to get some different spots. But you don't wanna poke so many holes that your cake falls apart either, so okay. And those I'm still letting it stay in the pan. The cake is still hot. Okay. So now with the glaze, just gonna spoon the glaze over the cake. And this is what makes the cake so delicious. <laughs> so delicious. And unlike most cakes, when you do this method, you're going to let the cake stay in the pan until it completely cools. Right now, it's, it's close to midnight where I am. So, I'm going to let this cake stay in the pan all night because I'm going to be going to bed in a minute. And just let it absorb. All this goodness is going on this cake. Okay. And I also want to let you know something too. I did go completely by the recipe. Well, almost completely by the recipe. What I did was instead of, let me show you. Instead of using vanilla, I use butter and nut flavoring. Now, my, my great aunt, God rest her soul, she used to love to use this in her cakes and her pies. Made such a difference. You can't always find this in the stores, which you used to find in the stores. You used to find them anywhere. But I don't know why. I guess it's not a very popular flavoring. But um, you can, of course, Get it from Amazon, which is where I got it. Because I kept looking for them. Like, I know they sell this stuff in the store. Why, why can't I find it? And I said, okay, that's okay. I'll find it. I'll find it. Just like I couldn't find um, white pepper in the stores. Not where I live. But <laughs> I know where I could find it. Amazon. Some people don't like Amazon. Hey, Amazon. Amazon be coming through for you, girl. I'm telling you. But yeah, all this is going to soak into this cake. Like I said, it's still hot. It just came out the oven. I wouldn't even dare touch this pan <laughs> without uh, a pot holder or something. Or a towel or something. That's it for tonight. So, in the morning, it's going to be completely cool. All this goodness is going to be completely soaked into this cake. And then I will take it out and let you see what the cake looks like. So, until then, good night, y'all. But, I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's the next morning, and this is my finished product. Of course, you see I put some um, powdered sugar on top of it. But anyway, I tasted the crumbs. The crumbs taste delicious. Oh, and by the way, I did have a little bit of difficulty getting it out of the pan. 
So I just went around the sides with a spatula, a rubber spatula, and then it came right out. But anyway, until next time, this is the Kentucky Butter Cake. Peace out.